Hey guys, so I'll uh, be talking about a tricky concept today. We'll be talking about um, uh, the blood supply to the stomach if the left gastric artery were ligated, all right? And this is actually just a very simple concept, all right? This is actually testing your knowledge on the blood total blood supply of the stomach, all right? So if you know the whole blood supply of the stomach and left gastric artery is just one of the artery that supplies the stomach, all right? And you know the part of the stomach that the left gastric artery supplies, all right? Then if you know the other arteries that supply the stomach, if the left gastric artery were ligated, then the other arteries, arteries will actually still bring, bring blood, all right? So this is just a question to test if you know the arteries that actually supply blood to the stomach, all right? So the question is, if the left gastric artery had to be ligated during surgery, give detailed account on how the stomach would still obtain an adequate blood flow or blood supply. This is very simple. The other arteries that supply the stomach will still supply blood, okay? Now, this is left for you to say the artery and say the parts of the stomach that actually um, it supplies, right? Now, this is just for you to know that the stomach has uh, the smaller curvature and the greater curvature, all right? So starting from there now, uh, this is the left gastric artery that was ligated, all right? Now, apart from the left gastric artery, we have the right gastric artery supply in the stomach. We have the right gastroepiploic artery supply in the stomach. We have the left gastroepiploic artery supply in the stomach. And we have the short gastric artery supply in the stomach, right? Now, this is not enough, all right? This is you talking about these arteries and talking about the part of the stomach that they supply, all right? So that's what we'll be going in. So since the left gastric artery were ligated and cut, the stomach can still maintain adequate blood flow through the following arteries, all right? So we have the right gastric artery, which is from common hepatic artery, and it supplies the right half of the lesser curvature, right? So this is right artery. And if all this place is the lesser curvature, it supplies the right part, okay? With the left gastric artery supplying the left part of the greater curvature, okay? So we'll move on to the right gastroepiploic artery, which is from the gastroduodenal artery. <clears throat> and it supplies the right half of the greater curvature of the stomach, all right? Going back to verify, this is the right gastroepiploic artery. It supplies the right half of the stomach, but the greater curvature, all right? That's the right side, okay, the right side of the greater curvature, all right? That's the best English to put that. Then, second to the last, we have the left gastroepiploic artery. If the right gastroepiploic artery supplies the right side of the greater curvature, the left gastroepiploic artery will supplies the left side of the greater curvature. All right. So this artery is from the splenic artery and it supplies the left half of the greater curvature of the stomach. All right. They are about the short gastric arteries. The short gastric arteries are also from the splenic arteries and it supplies the fundus of the stomach. All right. Okay. Yeah, we still have one image here to practice before we close this lecture. So the question was, this artery was cut off, all right? So what are the other arteries that will supply blood to the stomach? And this is easy. If you have this image in your head, it just goes straight forward. Let's go. Uh, we have the right gastric artery. It is supplying the, the, the lesser curvature, but which side of the lesser curvature? The right side of the lesser curvature. Then we have the right gastroepiploic artery. It is supplying the greater curvature, but which side of the greater curvature? It is supplying the right side of the greater curvature. Okay. Then we have the left gastroepiploic artery. Uh, the left gastroepiploic artery is supplying um, the left side of the greater curvature. The right gastroepiploic is supplying the right part. This one is supplying the left part, okay? Then how about the short gastric arteries? This one, I always forget them. Okay, they supply the fundus of the stomach, all right? They supply the fundus of the stomach, all right? 
So that's how the stomach will still maintain blood supply, even if the left gastric artery were ligated. Okay, so that's it about uh, the blood supply to the stomach. See you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.